Hi guys, Chris here, back with the Smooth Q. Now in my review, I did not cover the application, which I have right here now. So this particular video, I'm gonna go through the settings to show you some of the more interesting things and where we can fine tweak the pans on this, making that very sensitive joystick a lot better to use. So let's take a look at it now. So first things first, the very obvious, you need to turn it on first. So hold down the power button for, I think about three seconds until you see that light go on continuously. Now it's on, the blue light should be flashing. Launch the Zhiyun Assistant application. And first we need to do then is go to connect. So Bluetooth has to be on, and then you'll see it come up here, Smooth C. Click on that, it will connect through to it. So now I'm connected up. Now that I'm connected up to the application, it tells me how much remaining battery life I have left. This is very handy to know because charging this, it does take a long time, around six hours to fully charge the big battery that it has in there. So I know that 100% I'm good for at least 11 to 12 hours there, perfectly fine. Now it does tell you your pitch axis, roll axis there. Now if they're very, if they're off by quite a lot, then you probably need to go and run the calibration, which I won't do because mine's fine. I don't have any problem with it. So we have a few handy settings in here. Now one of them, we can correct. One of the issues that I encountered with the default setting is that the joystick is, is just too sensitive, that joystick. If you go left, you pan left, and you happen to push it right to the end, then I find that it's too fast. So along here, there's a setting called control rate, and it's set to 25 degrees per second, which I believe to be too fast for my own personal liking here. So I'm gonna tone that right down to five. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna quickly show you the remote application here that you can see under the control. So you can remotely control it. I'll show you just how fast that is. You can see at the moment how quickly in the background there, the uh, Smooth Q is moving. Don't like that. For me, that's just a little too fast. So go back into the setting here now, set everything here to five. If I can get five there, five, there we go. Now you, of course, adjust this to your own personal preference here. You might find that five's too slow for you. You want faster, you put it to 10, whatever, and apply. So that now, if I go back into control, you shall see the difference. Now it's moving, but see how slow that is. So now we can get those real nice pan shots and that for me is about perfect. Of course, using that joystick, I can control that even slow. If I move it just slightly, you'll see that it is moving, but hardly moving at all, tilting up there. If I push it right to the end, then that's the maximum speed, the five degrees per second. Now there's a whole lot of other parameters here that we can tweak, fine tuning, degree of smoothness, one thing here that may interest some people is you can control the joystick orientation. So if you're not happy that when you push it up, the camera goes up, if you'd like that reverse, then you can do that here. Now all of these settings here, and especially the control rate, once you set that, it actually saves that to the gimbal itself, which is really good. You don't need to run the app to get that again. One of the more interesting features it does have is a tracking mode and the camera application where you can actually make use of that zoom option that is located on the joystick, but at the moment it's not supporting the Smooth Q, but I can at least demonstrate it a little bit here. So here I'm in the photo mode, swipe up here to go into video, and this is the tracking mode, which is interesting. So touching that, and that is now tracking mode, and you need to draw the object you wanna track. So right here I'm gonna track my Mi Max. And you'll see how now, because I have it set to slowly pan, you need to adjust those settings, of course, on how fast you want it to pan. Now it is following that. So if I was to move that, in theory, it seems to work sometimes and then other times it doesn't, it crashes. It should then start to move back. But as you can see, I don't actually think it's doing anything there. Well, it's keeping it in the shot. If I move it out of the shot, let's see if it works. No, so it's not working properly for the Smooth Q. And I've also noticed that sometimes when I go to track something, it just completely crashes. So that was just a quick look there at the Zhiyun Assistant, the application there for their gimbals, which doesn't fully support the Smooth Q just yet. At least I can see my battery life 
and I can tweak the pan rate, which I wasn't too happy at. I found it to be too fast making that joystick so sensitive to use. Now that I've tweaked it back, I've actually settled on using 10 and just learning to use that joystick so I can get some really smooth pans with that. Other things, of course, like those camera features, or the tracking feature will be added in the future. And I look forward to checking that out later when the new release comes out, which honestly can't come quick enough because I really want to be able to use that and see what kind of shots I can get with that feature. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to catch you back in the channel soon. If you haven't already, please check out my review of this gimbal.